so I needed to learn a lot. No kidding. Including the national anthem. <laughs> How did you learn it? Oh, I googled it. No, you didn't. <laughs> Harry and Meghan. It's a bit shit. The dictator of Sussex admits on multiple occasions that newspaper reports about him that were, by the way, denied at the time, were actually correct. For example, the press was right about Harry's repeated drug use, which started as a teenager, and reporters like myself were on the money when we wrote about the tensions between the Fab Four plus Meghan Markle's alleged bullying of palace staff, uh, still being asserted by people involved, despite Harry's attempts to muddy the waters. You can't swear in front of the princes, apparently. They've never heard a swear word. They've never, they've never heard a swear word. I mean, Harry's in the army, but he's never heard a swear word. Shot in the groin. They'd go, oh, for f and then they'd look at Harry and go, fiddle-dee-dee. Perennially played female victim of all outrages, and your name got dragged into this. Uh, let's take a listen to, to what she said. Raise your hand if you've ever been called crazy or hysterical. <laughs> or what about nuts, insane, out of your mind, completely irrational? I don't think that men can control crazy women. What did you make of that, Jordan, to be suddenly appearing on Meghan Markle's podcast? As yeah, well, the first thing I make of it is that her voice drips with the same falsehood that the voice of Kamala Harris drips with. It's this sanctimonious, um, faux compassionate, talking down to her audience and trying to be sure that we're all really on the same compassionate page here and we're all being victimized by terrible forces that are arrayed against us and <laughs> none of that's really fair. Prince Harry and that woman from LA that he married are running out of money. How do we know that? Because they're still talking about themselves, selling the most boring little details from their boring little lives. Your um, beloved brother and arch nemesis. This competition between us. Oh, so two brothers who had tension between them. Breaking news on Good Morning America. I think we're all sick and tired of Harry and Meghan whining and moaning and going on and on. Well, most of us are anyway. I'm talking about Camilla, who he calls a dangerous villain. Why would two people who hate everything the royals seem to stand for hate the monarchy, are intent on destroying it, have done nothing but trash it and diminish it in the last two years. He was like this long before he met Meghan, and then she exacerbated it, how obsessed he was with his media coverage. Those two found each other. They both have a profound sense of victimhood. They fed off each other. He needs specifics, and only then will he apologize. I got you, Prince Harry. I got your back. Or right, here's just a couple off the top of my head, all right? Your wife's a bully. Her former press communications person who worked for both you and your brother, Jason Knopf, is on the record about the bullying she committed against people who were younger than she was or who are less powerful than she was within the palace, who she made cry all the time. One of the other people that she apparently made cry was Princess Kate. She told Oprah that Kate made her cry, but now we know from your own book, Harry, that it was Megan calling Kate a baby brain. It's your baby brain after she gave birth to her third child.